I never got to meet my dad's father, but using AI, I heard him talk to me for the first time. Hi, I'm Nova Liv, and welcome to Living with AI. I want to cover something a little more personal and related to how quickly AI is evolving. I've covered the dark side of AI audio mimicry, but now I want to explore how it could be used for good, like new ways to connect us with loved ones that passed too soon, or in the case of my dad's father, someone I never got to meet. So, my dad and I sat on a project to see what it would be like to clone my grandfather's voice using AI and have personal messages from him shared with me. First, we had to get audio samples of his voice. My dad had VHS tapes of interviews of my grandfather, so we had to find a VCR to play the tapes, which took a bit since no one makes them anymore. We were able to find one at a reasonable price and then use a special device to transfer it to digital. More and more, the US government officials are trying to emphasize uh, to treat everybody with a certain sensitivity because that's that's what they do to them as human beings. And it's... We uploaded the audio to a website called Eleven Labs. That's the top voice cloning platform we could find. My dad then typed in the messages he wanted my grandfather to share with me. And after a bit of tuning and trial and error, we ended up with messages that my dad said sounded exactly like him. Hey Nova, I'm your grandfather on your dad's side. I wish I had the chance to meet you in person, but sorry the timing didn't work out, though this may be the best opportunity I have otherwise to speak with you. I'm not sure if you've thought about this, but it would have been fun to wonder about what you would have called me. Maybe Grandpa Bill, Gramps, or even Pop Pop, which is what your dad used to call my father. After hearing the messages, and also seeing my dad's emotional reaction to it, and hearing about the reactions of others who are close to my grandfather, I experienced how this, and other AI resources, can be a powerful source of good. Imagine how many grieving families would be comforted by hearing their late loved one's voice again. There are a number of startups already focusing on the space that some are calling grief tech. You can see where this might go as well. Using a voice like this is just the start. It won't be long until we can train AI models on personalities and history. Combine that with AI video advancements and tech like Google's new project Starline, we're getting really close to having the people we've lost available to us in ways that months ago seemed impossible. To many, this can sound really creepy or odd. There's even a decade-old Black Mirror episode on this called Be Right Back. That's just... Just what? It's just the sort of thing that he would say. Well, that's why I said it. And if Black Mirror is covering this, you want to be careful with it. Although many may see this as fake or problematic, it could be thought of in the same way videos once were. Having videos of deceased loved ones could have been seen as unhealthy or inauthentic when they were first available a century ago. But these days, they're completely acceptable and normal. The same could be said about AI, because even though an AI clone voice isn't technically real, the memories and emotions associated with hearing it are. While some may not be able to relate, I think many will find solace in this. My dad is usually always behind the camera in our family videos, but I'm asking him to get in front of the camera now, to capture his voice, likeness, personality, and history as an archive that I'll always have. Whether or not I use it to train any future AI models, it's hard to think about, but at least I want my future self to have that choice.